Hi, my name is Steve Corona, and I'm going to be your guide for this virtual internship at Sweetwater Sound. Today we are speaking with Frank Navarro, who is the director of the Guitar Gallery Operations, and we are going to find out how you can start a career in that department. So tell me a little bit about, from your perspective, Sweetwater Sound. So Sweetwater, my perspective, uh, you know, we, we're known as being the number one uh, online music retailer. So you go Google that, that's who we are. But, but really we're this small mom and pop operation that has just grown so big. And we still run like a small mom and pop operation. Uh, we do a lot of things based on what the customer needs, not what the business needs. So a lot of the decisions that get made within Sweetwater and, and all boil down to what our customers need. And, and, and that's what we get to, to do here as employees. We get to take care of customers. Tell me about the hiring and selection process for your department. Yep. So uh, all of our employees get, uh, get selected through our normal HR process. So an a candidate would go online and they fill out an application and it get filtered towards uh, us because they applied for the guitar gallery. Uh, they set up a phone interview with somebody in the HR department and then once that's, that stage is passed, then they actually set up an on-site interview with myself and my guitar gallery manager. Are you looking for some essential skills or qualities in candidates? Yeah, so uh, really important for our guitar gallery, uh, the first thing that we look for is attitude. That's even more important than skill set. Second thing is drive to to learn something and do something uh, better than they did the day before. And then the third thing is a passion for instruments. Um, because we work on guitars and basses and mandolins and ukuleles, uh, our employees need to really respect that and, and hopefully have a, a, a drive, a passion for those instruments. Any level of education that you're looking for or previous experience in candidates? Sure, uh, while we would like them to have a, a high school diploma, uh, but I've even hired somebody that was currently in high school, um, uh, some experience with instruments. So as a hobby, a guitar player should want to work on their own instruments. So that actually gets them time under their belt to learn some of the skills that they'll have for their job. But if they've gone to luthier school, if they've uh, been in a band and, and helped take care of the band's instruments, that is a, a really important skill set. You know, it's almost like they did some, uh, an internship with their own band and learned a skill or two that they get to translate over to the work environment. Is there any way that you can prepare for this hiring process? Uh, yes, well, the interview process, I, I believe that everybody should prepare for the interview process. Everybody should practice interviewing with somebody. Everybody should question, what job am I applying for? Have some questions to bring to the interview and ask those questions when given the opportunity. Uh, anybody that goes to any interview, not only Sweetwater or, or the Guitar Gallery, should do a little research on the company. Find out some information that you can bring to the, the interview. Um, so I think there, there is some, some practice that can happen. I always love to see somebody come into an interview and have them dress above the job that they're applying for. And I, what, I'm, what I mean by that, not necessarily a suit and tie, but also not a t-shirt. You know, realize that an interview is really important because that, to the person doing the interview, myself, mm -hmm. I see that as that's the best I'm going to get at that, that person. And that first impression is really important. So, important question for candidates, yeah. starting salary. Starting salary. So we run three separate shifts. So each shift has actually a different salary, starting salary. But we'll start with the first shift, which is 7.30 to 3.30. Starting salary for that shift is $13 an hour. T tell me a little bit about benefits for this position. Sure. So all of our shifts are full-time shifts. So you get the full medical, dental, 401k, profit sharing, um, all the same benefits that you would on any one of our full-time jobs within Sweetwater. Um, and that all kicks in within 90 days, or at, at 90 days. There's also uh, 10 PDO days, which are personal days off, so vacation days, that you start off with. And the most important benefit for most of our employees is the employee discount, because they're usually musicians. 
Uh, so those are some of the, the main benefits. So you've decided that I'm the right person to work in the guitar gallery. What's training like? How are you going to bring me up to speed? Yeah, great, great question. So hopefully you have some level of experience, but even if you didn't have a lot, we have uh, an employee, uh, he's actually a supervisor, and his role is the training and quality control supervisor. So he takes that candidate and uh, from day one has a training checklist. And for the next six months, will be marking off things that they've trained on and showed the skill set to continue their improvement. Because not only are we looking to help them, help any employee get that job done, but we're looking for that employee to learn the next job and the next job and then help them get there. So even if you've never gone to a Lutheran school or uh, never dissected an instrument, we are gonna train that on the job and make sure we, we follow through with that training. What are the duties and responsibilities? So there's different roles within the guitar gallery. Um, so the entry level role, that is the guitar handler role. And that job is gonna un unbox an instrument, check the serial number, check the, uh, the color, does it match what the manufacturer said, check all the appointments. They're also gonna rebox that instrument. They're also gonna help in with uh, the photo turning, which is uh, where we take six to nine images of every single instrument. So th those, those jobs, they're on your feet, they're high attention to detail. We wanna make sure that we're able to produce or provide a customer the guitar that the customer is uh, hoping that they're gonna get. And then from there, there's another role that uh, we train and promote people into called a tune and polish technician. And that person is really gonna play the instrument, make sure it's not missing anything, uh, make sure it's tuned up exactly the way it's supposed to be, and most importantly, make sure there's no fingerprints anywhere. So that guitar is uh, as new as can be for that customer from day one. You made some reference to shifts. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the work day and work week. Sure. So our first shift is 7, seven o'clock to 3.30, and that's Monday through Friday. Our second shift is 3.30 to midnight, Monday through Friday. And our third shift is Thursday through Monday. So it crosses over the weekend, and that is from 9 to 5.30. Um, and so in that shift, there's a half hour lunch break in there. Um, you're on your feet quite a bit, but you're also moving around in a, in a good way because you're on your feet grabbing the next guitar. You're on your feet moving the next guitar down the next stage. You're always looking for growth, I assume, yes. in an employee. So what is the most important aspect of the job potential employees need to be aware of? So I think that, that question is easily answered on uh, the type of person that we want to hire, and that is somebody that's looking for a growth opportunity. You know, We're hoping the person that we hire today is not doing that same job six years from now. We want them to gain the next the skill set for the next job and the next job and within the gallery we have uh, multiple roles so I'll go back so there's a the guitar handler role that's the entry level job then there's the tune and polish tech and then there's an inspector so each one of those roles are levels up then there's a support tech and then there's the supervisor or the manager or even my job the director um, and if that's not the career path, we also have another department within the company called the Guitar Shop, which is high level uh, wor working on an instrument. And we train within our guitar gallery to also work into that shop so it can help somebody take that career path. I want to work up with my hands. I want to get all the skills that possibly. I don't want to lead people. We help them get to that stage or help them become future leaders. And we need both. How do you evaluate performance? So uh, in every aspect of our job, we have KPIs or key uh, production metrics, right? So those metrics we, uh, we look at and we gauge upon what we expect to achieve. And that's about 50%. And then there's another 50%, which is attitude, which is uh, drive, which is your ability to want to do a little bit more. And we combine those. So we, we do reviews and we add some of those metrics and we add some of the uh, behavioral things that we all have, you know, 
and hopefully we do a good enough job in the beginning where we hire people that want to do this kind of work and, and want to grow. And because it's a fun work environment, when you come in wanting to do the, the job, you're pretty successful. You're the boss. I am. So what does success look like? So success is, is daily, uh, it's, it's a daily hill to climb. And for me and my team is being able to go home and say, I did more than I thought I could today. And that might be a physical number or might be an emotional number or might be uh, I helped somebody else achieve that. Because uh, one thing that's important for our team is it's a team. Person doing this job supports the next person who supports the next person. And if you can't be part of that team, it makes success really hard. I'm brand new here. I love the culture at Sweetwater, but I'm struggling. I am really struggling. What resources or help will you provide me? Well, so within the Guitar Gallery, we have the training and quality control supervisor. We have our, our, our supervisors that help within the job. Uh, we have our Guitar Gallery manager, and then we have myself as director, and I am absolutely hands-on with everybody. But then we also have uh, our HR department. You know, we also have what we call the EAP line, which is an employee assistant line, which is an outsourced uh, portion of, of the company. So there's multiple avenues to find the help, but hopefully if somebody's struggling, we find it early on and we figure out where's the struggle coming from, and then we adapt. So in your opinion, what do you think is the biggest challenge of this position? Uh, the biggest challenge of this position is, is uh, wanting to surpass the position before you're ready. Because there are specific skills that need to be done, you need to uh, actually uh, master skill A before we can put you into job or skill B. Mm -hmm. um, and so some people want to do a little bit more and they got to learn to, to run bef or walk before they run, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we jokingly bring up the uh, karate kid mentality of wax on, wax off. So um, this is a big company. Yes. What are the opportunities for advancement within your department and within the company? Sure. So within the, the department, I mentioned each one of those roles, right? So really from our, our new hire in, that person has the ability to grow into even my job. Right? Uh, before I did this job myself, I was uh, a, a sales manager on the sales team. And this job opportunity opened up and I was tapped on the shoulder and asked to, to take the, this job. And it was a 180 degree move from what I was already doing. I spent 25 years rowing my boat in one direction. And sometimes opportunity uh, is presented itself and, and you have to look at it and go, oh, that's a challenge. That's, that's a growth opportunity for me. I'm going to get better. So is there or is there not a typical career path at Sweetwater? Uh, there are some typical career paths, but then the, there's always that, that curveball that comes out. If you are uh, wanting to do more and you show people how you're able to do more and take on challenges, uh, you will be recognized. Because it is a small company, we want to promote from within if we can. Based on your experience, are there professional organizations or advanced degrees or training that would be beneficial for someone in your department and someone who wants to stay at Sweetwater? Uh, yes, especially within my department. If you've gone to uh, a luthier school or taken some luthier classes or some uh, technical classes, uh, that will help you. Not necessary, but that will help you. You know, it's not a make or break for somebody's career path. Um, I would also say that anything you can learn is important. You know, I, I remember in my, my career path taking some Microsoft Office courses. And I, I knew I wasn't going to use them. But I also knew that if I had them, nobody could take them away. And I can adapt them to something else down the road. I'm in middle school. I'm in high school, I'm watching this video, I'm looking at you. What advice would you give me? Yeah. So uh, advice, what is your passion? Learn something more every day about that passion. Mm -hmm. You know, 
one of those, those things that can never get taken away is, is the education. And watching a YouTube video or an online training course on something that you already have a passion, whether it be guitar or photography or art or you know, mechanical type stuff, if you start going down that, that positive rabbit hole of learning, it'll, it'll benefit you. you know, I can think about myself being 12 years old, strumming the guitar, annoying my parents, and now I get paid to strum a guitar all day long. You know? And there was no career path at 12 years old, but it was my passion. Final thoughts. Yes. So final thoughts. You know, I think, I think if you're in school and deciding what you want to do in life, you know, get all the education you possibly can. But at the same time, think about what's going to make you happy and work towards that at the same time. You know, sometimes your passion and your education kind of line up and give you a great career path.